Welcome to the swamp, or Florida, as they might say. All right, guys, how many of y'all are familiar with this species? Now, y'all may have seen my previous video on the brown anole, or the Cuban anole. This guy's a little different. This right here is the green anole. Now, the green anole, you're saying he doesn't look green? Well, that's funny, he's not green. These guys are actually like chameleons. They can change their color with these little cells, especially adapted to um, their environment. They have cells that are called chromatophores. Chromatophores are color changing cells. When the lizard is under stress, the lizard is able to um, change his color with those chromatophores. They're also used in mating rituals and other stuff. Um, so this is the green anole, and like we were talking about with the brown anole, an invasive species. This is our native spe species of lizard here. This is the green anole. Um, so the green anole is a relatively small reptile species. It is a native one. It can lose its tail like the brown anole and regenerate that tail. They tend to be an arboreal species. They uh, they like to live in the treetops and a lot of people think that since the introduction of the brown anole that the uh, green anole actually has started to live a more arboreal lifestyle than they did previously. Like we talked about earlier in the Eastern Fence Lizard video, the introduction of non-native Argentine fire ants had caused the Eastern Fence Lizard to adapt and grow longer legs in order to move more swiftly and higher above the ground from the fire ants to prevent accidental injury or even death. Um, but just a really cool native species. Make sure you hit that like button if you liked it and uh, tune in for future episodes like our sting test or snake identification and just different wildlife footage. Um, thanks for watching. Press that like button if you like it and God bless. On my travels I noticed this guy trying to cross the road. I put my vehicle to the side and was able to protect him from any other vehicles crossing. This guy was more fortunate than some of the other ones I've seen. If you have the ability to do something then you have the responsibility to do something. If you're interested to learn more about this snake here, the Cottonmouth, go back and check out our Cottonmouth episode. This guy is often misconceived and misunderstood. However, this guy is truly important to our ecosystem. Thanks for watching this episode of The Great Outdoors. I'm your host, the Florida Wildlife Guy, Alex. Make sure you subscribe and tune in for future episodes. And hopefully we'll see you in the great outdoors.